This is the story of two strangers. I was born a mainline debutante to parents who were writers and adventurers. My childhood was an enchanted one, spent living all over the world until settling down at Sunny Hill Farm with a menagerie of wild animals. We were always the eccentric Mannix family, but the main line was a place ruled by tradition, a place I loved but longed to escape so I could make my own destiny. When I was 19 years old, my parents admitted me to a state mental hospital for the criminally insane. The only thing wrong with me, however, was that I was in love with a man whom my parents deemed unsuitable because he was not from the main line. I was also three and a half months pregnant with his child and determined to have my baby at all costs. She's a screamer, the nuns at the Catholic Charities Hospital warned as they handed me to my parents. We think she just needs some attention. My mother, who had waited a very long time to adopt me, simply smiled and took me into her arms. My parents loved us very much. As a child, I had a big brother to look up to and a younger brother to boss around. 25 cousins, two sets of grandparents, and many adoring aunts and uncles. I always felt surrounded by the angels in my mother's stories. It was as if I had been dropped into the first chapter of a fairy tale. But like all Cinderella stories, there were also great cruelties to overcome. This is the story of two strangers, a mother and daughter, separated at birth. It is the story of the riveting journey each took to redeem the past. Mm.